Now let's understand uh, the basic APIC architecture. Uh, this is what uh, overall look and feel would come uh, would look alike for the APIC uh, fabric. So APIC cluster is basically the distributed controller for managing all the policies and running state for ACI fabric and for interfacing with VM controllers or in that case if you are uh, attaching any L4 or L4 to L7 service boxes to this ACI APIC. This whole fabric is a highly redundant cluster of Linux based servers, the C220 M3 servers that we talked about in the initial slides, which are connected to leaf switches on infrastructure network. Now this, the APIC is not a part of the control plane or even the data path of the complete fabric. If in case, God forbid, all the APIC controllers go down, the networking part of the fabric would still be working fine your end host the end devices would be able to connect to the network over the fabric now the application networking needs are expressed in apic as uh, over the rest interface whatever policies that we configure they're coming over rest interface okay a lot of colors sorry <laughs> Uh, the policies are automatically pushed and applied to the infrastructure via the embedded policy elements which are a part of this APEC uh, software configuration. Now this slides give us information about uh, the various DME processes that is basically the interface between the Cisco APEC user and the various objects in this complete object oriented model solution. Uh, if you are wondering what these uh, DMA processes are, if you remember we talked about the IFM processes, the intra-fabric messaging processes in our initial slides, these are the same ones. So whatever uh, IFM messages that we talked about that for every different uh, purpose we have a different IFM process, so this is the same thing, okay. Now, during the initialization, the initial fabric initialization process, uh, we, we saw how APIC controller was allocating the TEP addresses to the leaf and the spine switches from its TEP pool. That was taken care of by the DMA process called Boot Manager or DHCP, as you can see. Now, the application director is mainly responsible for synchronizing and sharding processes among the APIC controller clusters, basically replicating of data uh, in all the APIC controllers in shards that is taken care by the appliance director. Then comes the policy manager where it keeps a track of all the ACI fabric policies we define. Reader is the process which reads and prepare the topological view for the fabric. VM manager handles processes related to VMM integration. When you are trying to integrate ESXi or vCenter or SCVMM with the ACI. Alerts, faults and syslogs are the responsibility for the event manager DMA process. Similarly, we have all these other processes aligned for all the internal processes inside the fabric. Let me remove that white. That's it. 